Second place squad! Hey boys, welcome back. Listen, I have a, a bunch of weird theories, and that's why I'm recording this pack and play right now. Shit. <laughs> Immense physical pain. You probably saw the wheel mud yesterday. I'm not stoked. Even a little bit. But okay, here are my theories. There's nothing insane in packs right now. That's not why I want to do this episode. But today's video is the first episode of the playoffs. Now, once we lose in the playoffs or win the entire thing, that's when this team's gonna reset, right? Now, I will be in Arizona doing the golf tournament, but I mean, they already have the currency, the Blitz Bolts or whatever. That Black Friday, Cyber Monday, whatever promo, Blitz has the most insane packs you ever see in Madden and they are so much fun to open. So here's what I'm thinking. I wanna make sure my team is completely reset before that promo comes out. Cause what's gonna be really depressing is if I'm still in the middle of the playoffs and then I open all these like blitz packs and then I just reset the team after that episode. Like I want to use the blitz players in pack and play. I hope that makes sense. So the best case scenario is I get multiple rage quits. This is just a longer video and we do win the Super Bowl. Additionally, today's video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Manscaped is the absolute best in the men's grooming business. They hooked me up with their all-in-one performance package. This has everything I need to keep myself clean that is above the waist and below the waist. I hope that's self-explanatory. First things first, the pride and joy. This is the Lawnmower 3.0. Waterproof, skin-safe technology so you don't cut yourself. Even got a little light to help you. Best way to shave your balls. They even created a ball deodorant and a ball toner spray. This right here the Weed Whacker nose and ear hair trimmer. Nose and ear hair is always slept on and it always looks horrible. You have to trim those. Can't forget your toes and nails. Shears 2.0 luxury nail kit. Everything you need. If you don't already have the performance package, I promise you, you need it. Plus, there's a limited time deal. You grab that performance package, you'll get two free gifts. Shed travel bag and Manscaped's anti-chafing boxer briefs. So go to manscaped.com today. You'll get 20% off and free shipping. Plus those two free gifts. All you gotta do is click that that link in the description. Highly recommend. Enjoy the rest of the video, guys. So for today's $100 worth of packs, we're going to Legends Fantasy Bundle. I mean, there's not much improving to my team that I can do because it's such a god squad. We're an 89 overall. And that's kind of my point of wanting to get this in because it's like, dude, I can pull some of the best stuff in the game and it won't even help my team. That's how crazy. Like this, that's an awesome Chad Johnson. It doesn't help my team. I have all 90 overall wide receivers in. I would like the team to be reset. Make just a massive episode. Hey, whoever's editing this, you're getting a fat raise on this. I'll tell you that right now. Ooh, oh, what do we got, baby? Jimmy Smith. Okay, not bad. We did get Josh Allen. Always a good sign. Oh! oh! That's the limit! Bro, I said I could get the best card in the game and it wouldn't help. That is the best pull you can get right now. It's literally the limited Clemaris. I just got the John Lynch last episode, who's an 88 overall free safety. Now I get the best free safety in the game. 92 speed, 90 hit power. Why is this series so juiced? It's literally so juiced, it's unbelievable. Calais Campbell, Van Noy, the 87 Cliff Harris, and John Hanna. I guess I'll just go John Hanna. Also, I have decided that with the pack and play squad, when we make it to the playoffs, we do get a prestige player. So I will be able to take one player with me into next season. So it's kind of the same as Wilmot. There'll be one prestige player who will always stay with the squad. I don't know who it's gonna be yet though. And I don't want to ruin the surprise. So we'll see as we keep playing. Murphy Bunting, Michael Slants Thomas. Uh, I already have Murphy Bunting, I think. I guess I'll take Michael Thomas. Jari Evans. 85 Dion, Bobby Bell, Mike Vick, Dion again. Hey, big legend! Damn! 90 Edger and James, that's a brand new starting halfback. Deshaun Watson, Daniil Hunter, okay. Mike Vick, Zach Ertz, Ronnie Lock. I guess we'll go Zach Ertz. What? <gasps> what? What? What the fuck? Oh my god! Do not tell me this Tom Brady jersey is bringing me luck, bro. That's an amazing pull. B Jax, give me a wide receiver. I love him. That car's worth like half a mil. I pulled him twice. We get a full legend here. I literally already have him. What the hell is going on? And we get a base. Am I dreaming? 
Am I, am I actually dreaming? What the fuck? Holy shit. How many limiteds have I pulled? Pulled limited D-Hop, two limited Cliff Harris's, limited Matt Stafford, 92 Allen Robinson, 91 Jimmy Graham, TJ Watt, that wasn't a limited, but it was CJ's Redux, Cliff Harris is insane, Ed Reed was insane, Cromartie, Pat P, Dion, I literally don't know what to say. the playoffs now in this video is gonna be my entire playoff run so if i win this first game we're just gonna keep rolling through i know that initially in the pack play series we were saying every touchdown we open a pack all the rules to be honest in pack and play are gonna be totally up in the air and i'm just gonna fuck with them all the time because like right now i'm not opening a pack for every touchdown so far. my team is insane i'm just not gonna do that i don't know at the start sometimes it's helpful I don't know. For the playoffs, let's go get this money. Get ready for a banger, boys. I am making the mistake of playing really late night Madden, though, so it's gonna get sweaty. Top three, all from PAX. That gets me going, baby. Scary Terry at a 95, D-Hop, Dion. All right, we got a game under our belt. I assume he's gonna be in man coverage because that's just, I mean, it's kind of just what you're running this, so I'm gonna come out here with something basic. Just look for D-Hop underneath. Oh, wait, holy fuck. Who is that? Why did he run the slant better than Allen Robinson? I know you guys think I'm throwing this game. I want to be reset anyway, but that is bullshit. Why the fuck is he running the route better than I am? I'm gonna look for Jimmy Graham here. It's gonna be man coverage again. Hopefully he burns this. Holy fuck! Stop running my routes better than me. Are you kidding me? In man coverage, they're just running my routes. I can't audible. I can't audible. I have no idea why that just happened. I could not audible out of this defense. Let's see how this man coverage goes. Look at that shit, dude. Look at them running their routes better than I can. Just cover two man. What a fucking joke, dude. <laughs> I can't do anything. I'm going to be in a box this entire game because it's going to look like this the whole time. Jimmy Graham with a pretty big catch here, trucking the shit out of him. That feels good, I guess. This is gonna be such a depressing one. Sit here against this press man coverage for 25 more minutes. I'm actually depressed. You can stay in it, I can stay in it, I guess. He's gonna commit to Y, we're gonna throw Robinson. I mean, I have an offense against it, I guess. That's good. I wish I could tell you I was throwing. I'm genuinely very frustrated at how horrible I'm playing right now. Perfect read right there. I knew his user was gonna come back to that. We are marching down this field, but we have to execute. We have to finish. Otherwise, it does not matter. Just got fucking heatered. Graham would be my only touchdown here, but I'm really scared of this guy's user. We're just gonna take this, see if Edger and James can... Yikes, I'll take a field goal. Do not have the clock on my side because I'm at such a deficit and he gets the ball half. Let's see if we can play defense, I doubt it. Remember when I said, um, I said I shouldn't load up a Madden game this late at night. So I'm gonna play super sweaty losers. I think this is the perfect example of that. I just got a roughing the kicker when he missed the PAT. I think this is gonna be a run play. It's not. You know what? I don't think it mattered that I threw the first two pick sixes because this guy is about a hundred times better than me. The absolute last time I load up a game this late. You guys will notice when I play big games, there's light coming through that window because I do not like loading up at fucking pro Madden player hours. Let's see if we can put some points up on the board. I refuse, absolutely refuse to give up, but this is gonna be a very tough one. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I am gonna hit A down the seam. Yeah, he overcommitted. Great throw, Stafford. Look at this, dude. You just get corners, you go one step ahead, and then they just sh stupid ass meta. Third and 10. Look at this, bro. Look at this. You're not doing a damn thing. You're just letting your insane team lock me up. God, that's stupid. All right, fourth and 10. Luckily, he was on the wrong guy there. The problem is when the field closes and then I can't do this anymore. Cause this is pretty effective until I get to like the 20 basically. Let's see if we can get to the end zone. Nope. Okay. God, Allen Robinson has so many yards right now. I'm gonna try scrambling. It's gonna be kind of weird. Uh, maybe not. No! Damn it! Oh! 
I'm sending a blitz because we're in such a such a scary spot. Safety. <laughs> That was Cliff Harris. Yo, that was Cliff Harris. I never, ever, ever run this play. I just want to see what happens against man here. I don't think that's open, but good God, Allen Robinson. All right, that slant's very open. Allen Robinson's literally f***ing the I really don't know how to get in the end zone against this guy right now. Not sure where his user is. He does not see the screen. Edger and James are on third and goal. We got a shot. Running a shit ton of hitches. Let's see if Hopkins is there. No, I didn't, ah, I'm not gonna get anything. I ran out of time because I got sacked. This might be my worst game of all time. Down the red zone three times and have done nothing with it. I really wish I could tell you guys that I'm throwing. I, I, I wish I could say that I'm intentionally throwing this game. That would help my ego. I'm just getting my ass handed to me. Now he's running two clock, which is so fucking corny. Oh, he goes play action. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm over it. Vernon Davis gets a touchdown here. I sold out for the run. I literally brought my, my Cliff Harris down in for a run there. So he's gonna go play action again. And he throws a pick to Cromarty. Well, I gotta score somehow, right? <laughs> Showboating down 23, the class. I have a safety, a field goal, a pick six, and potentially a two point conversion. Although I can imagine he's gonna run man coverage and clamp literally every piece of my offense. Wait, no, where are you running, boy? Oh damn, this is gonna be true Scorigami now because he's gonna have 30. It will be 30 to 11. Have you ever seen a Scorigami like that? All time weirdest game I've ever played. I gotta say, I would be a lot sadder if I didn't want my team to reset, but I'm not throwing. I'm telling you I'm not. Second and 11, I think this guy is over our bullshit. So he's just gonna chew the clock. Yeah, he's like, this game is a waste of my time. That McLaurin is ridiculous. You know what you should do, bro? You know what you should do, Flying Jambo? You should in cover two man, press coverage, and buy all the best players in the game. Oh wait, you're already doing that? Oh, bro, you got it. Damn, that's a rat catch. That's a rat catch for a touchdown. And I'm worried that I can't get this touchdown. I'm gonna go QB drop. <laughs> get shit on! We're gonna play this underneath. He's gonna go for the touchdown on four inches, and he drills it. This guy's got the fattest balls of anyone I think I've played. At this point, I really actually don't give a shit. I don't know what to say right now. That was one of the weirdest games I've ever played in my whole life. I know this is me being a bitch because I was playing like an idiot and I didn't need to throw this, but I think this needs to be taken out of the game. This is Jair Alexander running a slant better than I can. Okay. Right here, Allen Robinson, he's running the slant. Look at Jair Alexander. He's running the slant before Allen Robinson is running it. Look at that. Allen Robinson hasn't even cut out of the slant yet. And Jair Alexander is facing this way. Like if that's a corner route out of Allen Robinson, Jair Alexander's in goddamn Narnia. And it's a huge completion. And here's Jair Alexander literally running a better slant than Allen Robinson. All right, boys, take one final look at this glorious goddamn team. One player will follow us into our next season, and the rest are gonzo. I love you, boys. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.